Hi and welcome to the outdoor video vlog by yours truly. This time I'm in the historic city of Lancaster in the northwest of England. It's Easter Sunday. Uh, we're up at uh, Helen's dad's for our traditional Easter meal. Um, we're just awaiting for Alan's sister uh, to arrive and her family. It's, uh, it's such a lovely day here. I just thought I'd take the opportunity to do an outdoor vlog because if you saw my Force Mine one, um, I had technical problems on the first one there. So I thought I'll do this one again today here. It's so nice. If you're wondering what that traffic noise is, it's actually the M6 motorway. But, uh, yeah, as you can appreciate, being a bank holiday here in uh, the UK, it's extremely busy. But, um, I'm just walking around Tony's garden. He's got a, a huge kind of allotment. I wouldn't call it an allotment, but it's an area where he just grows his own stuff. It's, it's fantastic. It's lovely up here. Anyway, what to do if you want to shoot a band promo video? How do you go about that? And is it worth it? So yeah, I'd say in the band I'm in now, for size, they, they applied for, this is before I joined them, they applied for a lot of these outdoor festivals, the higher end ones, and uh, it had difficulty really making any headway with the organisers and that. And uh, I think it's the same for a lot of bands. The, 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 these organisers and that um, they must get a lot of applications so what they want to see is like show reels and things like that so the band decided if this is before I joined them the band decided to uh, shoot a show reel so hopefully next year they can attempt to get on some of these uh, wonderful outdoor festivals that seem to be a real thing here in the UK in the summer months and uh, in order to do that uh, the other guitar player there, Nick, he organised a place called The Venue in Kendall and basically hired that out for the day. Um, it's got a stage and a, bit, a little bit of lighting and stuff like that. And uh, it was it was a shrewd idea in the end. I had this last from Poland called Gosia. Um, it, it's her kind of um, passion, really, photography and filming. It's not what she does for a living. But... Um, she, she came over and uh, set it all up. Just filmed us playing to sort of like, if there is any weird noise, I'll apologize. It's really difficult swirling about here. We're quite high up in the back of that castle. So yeah, she came in and uh, basically set up, set up some uh, lights and stuff like that. And then filmed us playing along to like, um, there were like 90 seconds to two minute segments of five songs the band do. Um, and the idea was we were going to mime to these things. Um, so you just basically, we took uh, took all our back line, we took the PA, um, the playback was through the PA. I mean, this is always you can save money if you're going to do it yourself. So what we did, uh, we set, all, set it all up, set it all up how we would set up on stage for a live gig. I'm just bending down under the apple tree there. And uh, away we went. But we found after the, the first couple of run-throughs, there was no vibe to what we were doing. So we, we made the, we gave ourselves the option of being able to play along to the track quietly but live, and that's what I did. We ended up doing 125 different segments, and I played along to every one of them. And what it worked that out. It's over four hours, well over four hours of playing there. Uh, we hired the venue out from 11 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon and we actually finished at 10 to 5 so if you fancy having a go in house at something like this um, I, I fully suggest that you give yourself plenty of time and certainly if you're hiring somewhere out you give yourself plenty of time that it takes a lot longer than you think you have to have the odd break as well, you can't just keep going all that time non stop. So that's what we did. And it, it was it was more fun than I was expecting to be honest with you. Um, it's hard work. When you when you see you know these pop stars 
your Dua Lipas and all these mega pop stars and that. They're making promo vids and pop vids all the time. Um, credit to them, they're doing like dance routines. We're not going to be doing dance routines in the size, don't worry about that. But they're doing all kinds of choreography and stuff like that. It's, it's actually blooming hard work. Um, when we're, you know, we're just playing along to the stuff and I want it to look authentic. So when I was playing the solo, I was playing the solo actually as the camera was rolling, if you know what I mean. That's what we did. Um, I haven't seen the final results yet, but uh, I think, you know, as, as, a, as an option, if you can find somebody to d do the filming for you, that is, you know, say, like in our case with Goshu, it's like a passion of hers. Um, and it's still going to cost, you're still going to have to pay for people's time and expertise. But if you can find a way of doing it relatively in-house, I'd suggest it's a, it's a good thing to do. It could open a lot of doors for you. Um, so really, that's it. That's all I wanted to say about it. But, uh, yeah, here from a wonderfully sunny uh, Lancaster on Easter Sunday, um, just remains me to say thanks for watching. Keep well, stay safe, and I'll see you all later, guys. Bye.